Hi, I'm Charles Kuntz and I'm one of the surgeons at Vet Dojo. Veterinary patients in hospital receive adequate nutrition about 25% of the time. Poor nutrition in hospitalized patients can result in organ failure, compromised immune function, deficient and defective wound healing, reduced cardiopulmonary function, and altered intestinal function. Malnutrition can be a significant contributor in the death of hospitalized patients. Take, for example, a patient having intestinal surgery. Many of these patients are malnourished. By providing nutritional support immediately after surgery, you'll accelerate wound healing, decrease dehiscence, and improve patient comfort. Other patients that can benefit from nutritional support include those with inappetence for any reason, starvation due to neglect, trauma, gastrointestinal disease, sepsis, burns, or cancer. If you want to provide the best care and improve your outcomes for your sick patients but don't know where to start, this new course is perfect for you. It's a comprehensive review of tube feeding. It'll help you decide what kind of tube is most appropriate, how to place each kind of tube, including videos, and which complications are common with each type of tube. There's also an extensive resource provided including links to Wasava and AHA guidelines for nutritional assessment and support, as well as a take-home sheet that you can modify and provide for your owners. Nutritional support is recognized as one of the pillars of appropriate management of hospitalized patients and is becoming a critical part of patient care during and after hospitalization. If you have an interest in providing the best care for your patients and want a comprehensive review of tube feeding, please click on the link in the description below. There's even a free quiz to help assess your knowledge of nutritional support.